Adams classroom friends in today's class we are going to see about soil. Soil is a word which describes the loose and fine material found on the surface of earth. Plants grow in the soil. Several animals also live in the soil. Human beings also use soil to grow crops and build homes. Soil is also found at the bottom of lake, pond, rivers and ocean. Soil also has other names such as sand, mud, earth, dirt and ground. Now we are going to see about weathering. The process in which rocks are broken down into smaller particles is called weathering. Now we are going to see about soil formation. Thousands of years ago, before there was any life on earth, land was made up of only rocks. These rocks were exposed to the different elements of weather such as sunlight, rain, snow and wind. These elements caused the surface of the rocks to crack. Rainwater or ice collected in these cracks and caused them to widen. As when all these rocks, they collided and broke into smaller rocks and stones. These rocks and stones were continuously exposed to weather. They were broken down into smaller and finer bits starting to form soil. Soil supports life on earth. Now we are going to see about what is decomposition. Many animals live and die in the soil. These dead animals and plants were broken down by small tiny living things in the soil. This process is called decomposition. Now we are going to see about the layers of soil. This is the organic layer of humus and this is the top soil, subsoil and bedrock. The first we are going to see about the top soil. The top soil covers the surface of the earth. The soil particles are small and do slip back. Living things on earth are most dependent on this layer. Now we are going to see about the subsoil. This layer is present below the topsoil and the soil particles are larger and more closely packed. Now we are going to see about the bedrock. The bedrock is made up of hard stones and uh, and a bit of soil drop. And the and the and the rocks we are the withered rocks and it is present below the subsoil and it is the most bottommost layer. And now we are going to see about the organic layer or humus. This layer has many nutrients which help the plants grow. And this covers the, the surface of the topsoil. And this is, come, uh, this is made up of decomposing plants and animals. Now we are going to see about water pores. Not all the grains in the soil are the same shape or size. This causes them to have spaces between them commonly known as pores. The pores in the soil are occupied by air and water which supports the living things in the soil. Animals and insects uh, 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 build their houses by tunneling and burrowing through the pores in the soil. They act as natural flows because they are mixing and turning the soil. And they also make the pores larger which allows more water and air to enter inside the soil. Now we are going to see about what is fertile soil. Oh, now we can see. The, the plants grow, the plant roots grow through the pores in the soil to absorb water and nutrients. And, and the, the top soil which supports the growth of plants is said to be fertile. Now we are going to see about soil erosion. Usually the soil fertility is affected by two ways. One is soil erosion and another one is soil pollution. Now we are going to see about soil erosion. The, the, usually the main thing of the soil erosion is the process in which the wind or the elements of weather which that took away the topsoil which in the area is called the soil erosion. Now we are going to see about barren. An area in which it has been eroded usually looks dry and lifeless. Such an area is commonly described as barren. Deserts are examples of barren that can support only little life. Now we are going to see about sand. As wind pushes the sand, 
particles tend to along with the they settle down a smooth uh, of a smooth surface of sand and, and they uh, they form a hillock structure called the sand dunes. Now we are going to see about well. In some places like hills and mountains, more uh, the uh, water erodes the soil. Yeah, and uh, what water erodes the soil, and sometimes this can cause deep holes across the valley. Now uses of soil. Soil is for many things. It is used for growing crops and building homes, and it is also used for the uh, plants to absorb water and nutrients. And not only these these things, it is useful for many things. I cannot say that much things because there are many things to say. Now we are going to see about the preventing of soil erosion. We can prevent the soil erosion also and soil pollution also. The soil erosion can be prevented by the trees that are cut down should be minimized. The trees should be replaced once that are cut down. Grasses and shrubs should be planted in your parts, buildings and even the sides of roads. Now we are going to see about what is soil pollution. Apart from erosion, soil fertility of soils is severely affected by soil pollution. The, the pollutants that are dumped in large open lands is called soil pollution. And the pollutants include food waste, factory waste, metal waste from old cars and uh, uh, electronic goods, and also hospital waste such as used bandages and needles, and, it, uh, and garbages such as plastic and glass bottles. Now we are going to see about what is land. Trash collected from a place is covered in a large open land and these trash are dumped in, in large open land and then left to decompose. This can cause the soil to be polluted, thus, uh, thus reducing the fertility. This is called the landfill. Now we are going to see about the, the soil pollution effects on living things. The plants that grow in the polluted soil absorb all the harmful substances and then pass it on to animals, including humans that eat them. Animals that live in the poisoned soil also get poisoned by the harmful substances and die. The groundwater, which is a source of water to all the living things, get polluted. Now we are going to see about soil conservation. Soil is vital to the survival of all living things. However, as we pollute or let it get eroded, it loses its ability to support living things on earth. So, uh, it is important that we should protect the soil. The practice of maintaining soil fertility and protecting it from being ero eroded is called soil conservation. We can conserve the fertility of soil by not polluting it and planting more trees. So, if we, uh, if we maintain the soil conservation, we can maintain a healthy soil and a healthy life on earth. So, today we learned about what is soil and weathering, then the formation of soil and the layer of soil. Then we learned what is soil erosion, barren, sand use and, and we learned about soil pollution and what are the harmful effects on the living things and soil conservation. Thank you friends. We will meet you on the next class. Bye.